Hello, I'm here for another reaction, and this time I'm about to watch DuckTales Season 2, Episode 14, Friendship Hates Magic. And yeah, it's uh, kind of obvious uh, what with what they're uh, referencing here. Um, I don't know if they're going to do like a whole episode, a like, pony reference, like with that uh, those creatures in the uh, that golf course episode, or, um, or did they just throw that in the title? I'm not sure. Uh... But, uh, yeah, those, uh, yeah, reference to the other show aside, looking at the title just as it is, uh, I would guess it, uh, might have something to do with, uh, Webby and or Lena or Magica, because I know that the, uh, because what I'm thinking is the, uh, like the magic from, uh, Webby's friendship bracelets was that, uh, she had given to Luna that it was... To, to Lena, yeah, that that was uh, pretty uh, important in helping to defeat Magica, or at least save Webby during that fight. And and I think I even made a Friendship is Magic reference when watching it at the time. And, uh, yeah, that was, that's just like the first thing that comes to mind is the possible uh, meaning of this of the title. But if it's not that, then I, I have no idea. So, uh, let's just, uh, start the episode and find out. Oh. Oh, and we're starting with the Webby. Library. I love the smell of thinking in the morning. And seeing your shadow. Oh, yep, there we go. Library day. Again. <laughs> Swipe your library card. Realize you're swiping it backwards. <laughs> head to the supernatural reference section to annoy the librarian on duty. <laughs> Hi, of course. I'm Webby, and I need the your supernatural help reference books. section. Okay. Oh. Mrs. Gosh. Quackmaster? What are you doing here? This Working is what? a second job to pay for a retirement condo in Barbados. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just doing some casual <laughs> research. <on Saturday. laughs> Not trying to bring my best friend back from its depths or anything. Give it up, Pink. You've messed with enough Pink. magic for one lifetime. Because it holds dark and forbidden secrets? Because, no, because if someone else has checked it out. Already checked oh, it out. yeah. Uh, who's that? Hi, I'm Web. Uh. Yamaos. Kareis, Tayonka, Tate's toy? Oh, Syriac? Okay. <laughs> Conversational. Okay. Is there any other kind? Kiosamal for Nordan Vader. How many languages do they speak? Nerds. <laughs> Violet Saberwing. Webby. Violet Saberwing. Webigail Vanderquack of McDuck Manor. Oh, trusted she's companion in many well known apparently. Adventures. Had a few experiences. <laughs> a few. Just a few. Hold up, Pink. Um, okay. See you tonight. Oh no, a sleepover. Oh, <laughs> <boy>. a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quiet and Life is like a hurricane. Well then. Yeah, my guess about uh, Webby and Lena was right, I guess. Mm, Binventory day. Binventory. Jack and the boys are cataloging treasure at the office all evening. Just a nice, quiet. Oh, hey, I have a friend coming over for a sleepover tonight. She speaks all <laughs> So much English. for quiet. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Webigail, that's oh, splendid news. Good for you for getting back on the friendship horse. Thanks, Grin. The this friendship is a horse. Big step, <laughs> given your past sleepovers. That money bin incident with the mystical shark, the vicious unicorn battle, and the other bin. You knew about that? <laughs> of course she does. Giving the sleepover the old college try. You're right. Every sleepover I ever had ended in some kind of supernatural disaster. Yes. I'm mean, <laughs> sure I was the cause of most of those disasters, but... And they all led to me losing Lena to the Shadow Realm. Make Cancel this the, the most sleepover. normal sleepover ever. No. <laughs> or eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just, uh, you know, uh, normal kid stuff. Like, uh, uh, games. Like what? Yeah, and, uh, I don't know, pie. Pie, is that normal? Oh, but she, oh, yeah, she has stuff. no idea what, uh, normal <laughs> kid stuff is. Well, considering this is with uh, someone else who is, you know, checking out a supernatural information book, I uh, but the best way to make a good impression is I don't to think be this other person is really all that myself. normal either. Barring that summer undercover in Pirate Gray. Granny, I'm uh, not like you. I need friends. What? I oh. <laughs> friends? <laughs> Name 
one person I don't get along with. Uh, hey, Mrs. B. I just finished fixing the gate <laughs> I broke on the way in. Just a heads up, I'm probably gonna break it on the way out, too. <laughs> Launchpad, if you're not busy this evening, sup with me? Uh, sup with you? I guess you're British or something? <laughs> no, I mean supper. Would you like to have dinner? Oh, yeah, every single day. Ooh, maybe I'll make myself taquitos tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, magic rocks. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> He's not happy. Okay. Face. I brought pie. A pie! How normal! What type of pie? <laughs> pie? I'm not buying what this chick's selling. Mm. Who is this anyway? Mm. <laughs> yeah, he has no idea what. <laughs> Just pick one at random. Oh, if you're having trouble with utensils, I'm more than happy to help. Oh no. That's probably what I, I would do. <laughs> Well, if you only have... Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, maybe not. And this is my room! Yeah, she's gonna. Kind of, she's upset that it doesn't look. That it looks a little too normal. Or just Spartan, empty. I like it. Tulpas are manifestations of powerful emotions: hatred, jealousy, greed. They live hmm. in a dark realm adjacent to our reality. It's the closest thing I found in my research to explain what happened the night the shadows attacked Duckburg. And I. Who likes bagel? Everyone. Bagel. <laughs> I thought I was here to review the book with you. Oh, we have plenty of time for that. It's a sleepover. So <laughs> I assume it's supposed to be a boggle. To to know each other. Okay, I'll go first. What do you know about magic and dispel in the shadow war? Uh. Uh -huh. She just said the M word. But I'm not nervous about sparkles. Normal nights. And how does this girl Why know about Magicka? Why is this brainiac using Webby to learn about Aunt Magicka? Uh oh. Is this actually Magicka in this? Oh dear. Oh, he has one crooked fang from a poker brawl. I have proof. <gasps> you do? Where? Definitely <laughs> not the attic. Do not share your secrets. Too webby. Stay gold. <laughs> that fang is indeed crooked. And I'm detecting a strong ectoplasmic aura coming from your shadow. Oh, is the this bracelet. Some form of friendship bracelet. Oh, it's like on reverse. Interesting. Uh, Using ancient Demogorgon runes to contact shadow spirits? <laughs> Demogorgon runes. Mm, bagel? Yeah, what did that say? The scarlet. Mm. Mm. Wait. Just do it already! Go ahead and fire me! What? I I'm not gonna Okay, obviously that, that book is, uh. Yeah, I think it's Scarlet so nice Pimpernel, but I think it's some oh, kind of. I'm trying to establish a bond of friendship. That is that surely some we sort of some pawn interests. or something on that? Politics? <laughs> Sports? I, mean, I swear Cricket? that looked like Darkwing really Duck on the I cover. What are your thoughts on ramjet propulsion engines versus turboprops? Uh, <laughs> 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 does he even know the what either of those are? They put the plane in the sky. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, fine. Where'd you get that Darkwing book? Beg your pardon? Oh, yep, yeah, it is. Oh, it is a Darkwing. Scarlet Pimper Bill. A mask oh, Pimper Bill. The city at night to protect people from harm. Just like Darkwing Duck. Uh, I don't know what that is. She what? doesn't know Darkwing Duck? <laughs> Hold on to your cape. Oh, here we go. This night's about to get oh, he's got a VHS. Oh, nice. I'm awakening the vibrations of the shadow spirits. So who is the Scarlet Pimper Bill? Was he inspired? Was that inspired by Darkwing Duck or vice versa? Hmm. This is interesting. What? Oh no. Oh. 
I'm gonna try to move them to uh, uh, say something. Anything. The wind or the house settling. Oh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, what secrets are the mice hiding? It says don't trust her. Ugh, <laughs> nerds. We need more clarity. Well, uh, wouldn't they both see that? Um... <laughs> oh! Switching back to uh, inverted again. Ah, uh, how cliche. <laughs> Does she even know what that is? Oh, she did see it for a moment. Was oh, that some Wait, random kid who just happened to find it? Slumber party's over. Start talking now. And she doesn't really need quite understand what it is. Into the shadow realm the hard way. There is a world beyond textbooks and rational truths. So okay, so she wasn't like, deliberately to trying to bring Nagika back or anything. She just was curious and. If Lena was banished back into the Shadow Realm, as you say, then perhaps using magic as amulet, we might be able to harness those powers and pull okay. Lena back home. Hey. Oh. Oh, that episode. <laughs> the, uh, what was it? The, uh, yeah, Mr. Banana Brain. Uh, uh, Mrs. Beakley wow. doesn't seem Look like a fan. <laughs> a couple of work buddies, Sharon. Don't go in there, DW. Yep. So Quackerjack summoned Paddywhack from the Jack in the Box. That was it, so Paddywhack. Paddywhack okay. possessed Quackerjack's doll, Mr. Banana Brain, who was attacking Dogwood. Yeah, the mythology is pretty dense. <laughs> yes, this is certainly dense. I hear you. Let's watch the third episode again to clear it up. We are, after all, bonding. <laughs> well, I hope the girls are having a good time. Uh, uh, I guess this counts as a good time. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, did she just pull them all into the Shadow Realm? Lena! Or your desire not to be forgotten by Webigail. Newton's apple, you are dense! You'll note the tulpas have taken your form. <gasps> of your own jealousy trying to keep Webigail with you in the Shadow Realm. Ugh, oh. Maybe. Look, we have nothing in common, but we do both seem to care about... Webby. Webby. Put the next tape in. No can uh -huh. do. The show was cancelled before the finale. <laughs> but, but what happens next? <laughs> How does it end the show like that? I have to know what happens! Uh, uh, I have a few <laughs> theories. Oh, which okay. I put into a fan script. See, with the help of your best friend and pilot, Launchpad, Darkwing, oh. will <laughs> <must> film this. <laughs> oh, wow. Launchpad inserted himself she into the story. So does that mean uh, Darkwing Honor. doesn't have a sidekick Let's on that show? Magic. With the hand of my friend's friend, we bring bitter jealousy to an end. With the hand of my friend's friend, with the hand of my oh. friend's friend, Breaking out of the shadow realm. Is Lena gonna stay there or no? Oh no. Maybe? <coughs> hey, Webby, you have any more of those smoke bombs? Well, hurry, Launchpad, let's get this shot before the boys oh my... ruin our fun. <laughs> oh, Sick what the heck? Evil <laughs> Never mind, we found oh, some. Wow. Oh, hey, Lena. Whee! <sighs> well, I wanted to make sure nothing bad happened to you or whatever. Okay. That is the sweetest, uh... non creepiest thing anyone's <laughs> ever said to me. I've got my old best friend, I've got my new best friend, I've got Pi? Oh, this is easily the most successful sleepover I've ever had. Yes, it was very educational. Uh-oh. A shame you didn't listen to your friend earlier. Now, I will use that knowledge to seek grim vengeance upon you all. She's just playing around. Oh, God, my 
point, yeah, they were messing with makeup earlier. Yeah. I can joke too. You were right. She totally bought it. <laughs> Good one, bye. Best friends! Huh. Okay. So does that... I guess Lita is just back now, apparently. Huh. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I... Yeah, I did, uh, yeah, I, I was expecting to, uh, to see, uh, to, to see this about, to be about, uh, yeah, Lena and Webby, but I was not expecting uh, to actually see Lena act come back for good. Uh, at least that's what it seems to be looking like at the end of the episode. Apparently she's, she, she's just back now. Which, yeah, that's great, but it's, it seems like, I mean, just a couple episodes ago, we just had, yeah, Della return and and now lena yeah i guess yeah i guess because it was like you know we'd already had della come back and this, yeah i wasn't expecting to see just yeah, another one just return all of a sudden but yeah. yeah i mean no complaints i love it i love i'd like to see uh you know i like to see more of a uh, lena here so yeah in fact i think they, they, i don't know if they ever really like mentioned even really mentioned her at all ever since the uh the, the shadow war I, I i think there may have been one or two glimpses of maybe of webby shadow in between but i don't know i don't remember but yeah this is that this is like the you know definitely the first major time that she's that they really uh that, like uh talked about her at all and yeah and all of a sudden that she's she's just back now and apparently, yeah, Webby has a new friend, and I guess, I guess that, yeah, that's what the, uh, the title that, uh, yeah, Friendship Hates Magic, that Webby wanted to, uh, she, uh, to, yeah, she wanted to try to make a new friend, so she wanted to hide any evidence of, like, anything that might seem uh, weird or, you know, like, supernatural or anything like that, just to not not let them see it yeah even though uh yeah she'd already shown interest in it yeah yeah the what, violet silver wing i believe yeah she'd already yeah checked out that uh shadow realm book she was clearly already interested in that sort of thing and i mean i'm still i i, I guess yeah it seems that she really is uh pretty sincere genuine that maybe she really is uh, just, just uh, yeah, just a kid who uh, happened to find the amulet, and she was just curious about it. And I can, and that, yeah, I can see why uh, Lena would be suspicious, because that's, that is exactly what she would have done when she was trying to take it to, uh, yeah, take advantage of Webby. And yeah, she recognized, she saw like this is some of the same things that. That she would have done, but uh, I, I, it looks like yeah, this uh, this kid she actually is trying to be a good friend. Uh, you know, she just uh, she just yeah, since the uh, the event the shed the whole shadow war thing, she just uh, got curious about this stuff and started doing a little bit more research into it. And. Uh, And now they were able. She was able to use the. Uh, she and Webby were able to work together to use that information and uh, bring back uh, Lena from wherever she was. The uh, that, that the shadow realm, I guess. And well, yeah, it looks like she she's back now. And yeah, like the same thing. I like I said about Della before. Like like the, I hope that yeah. Apparently, I guess I hope she she is just a regular part of the series now, just a part of the family. Although I'm not sure if. Oh, well, it looks like a, a little bit at the end with a launch pad. Yeah, hi, Lena. Like, it's just, <laughs> like, just casually, well, just acting like there's nothing, bit, no big deal. But, well, then again, it, it's launch pad. So. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not sure how the other, uh, how the triplets or Scrooge would uh, respond to this. If they might be kind of suspicious or, or what, what, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, but. I know, well, I know Scrooge that, yeah, he probably wouldn't be, I mean, he knew, yeah, that she was, uh, confessing everything to him, she explained it, uh, before, that, before Magica, like, sucked her back up into her shadow or whatever, 
So I think you know, Scrooge at least probably wouldn't have a any problem with her being back. Or well, you might be curious as to how, but uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they might not. I don't. But I still want to see uh, how they might respond to this. And yeah, it was just great to see. Uh, yeah, great to see Lena come back. Apparently, Webby. Yeah, apparently we have Lena trying to talk to Webby, I guess. But yeah, Webby was then unable to see her, and we kept seeing that switch back before. It, like it kept inverting back and forth between like viewing from the real world and viewing from the shadow realm. That, yeah, that was interesting seeing that uh, just keep uh, switching between these uh, different views frequently. Uh, and eventually when, uh, yeah, uh, until eventually uh, probably Webby got pulled into the Shadow Realm and had to try to get out. And eventually they managed to pull, yeah, they used the uh, Magicka's amulet to pull Lena back out there into the real world now. And, yeah. Now uh, Webby finally has uh, one of her best friends back again. But I don't know if she can still, if Magicka can still pull her back into the shadow, or if she's like permanently just a just a real person now. And, and, like, is is that it? Or, or is she still like like a shadow magically brought to life? Or uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we'll get more details on how all that works. Uh, I don't know, maybe the next time Magicka shows up? Uh, I'm... probably. But, anyway, uh... Yeah, I really like that, uh... And... Yeah, then we have the other half of the episode, which was, uh... Launchpad and Mrs. Beakley, and... <laughs> well, apparently Mrs. Beakley is now a Darkwing Duck fan. <laughs> To the point where she's cosplaying as him by the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Launchpad made another Darkwing fan, apparently. And, yeah, the, uh... And he, yeah, yeah, he said he had written some sort of a, a, a fan script to serve, to, that was, so that's supposed to serve as a, uh, a finale to the series, when he said, like, he inserted himself as a Darkwing sidekick. So, uh, does that mean that Darkwing on this sh on that show has no sidekick, or maybe it's a different, or maybe a different one? Yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I guess the yeah, Launchpad wanted really, yeah, he really, of course, he obviously likes Darkwing and wants to you know, put himself into that story. <laughs> Not sure if anything else is going to come of that, but uh, I guess we'll find out if some if uh, Launchpad will ever submit his uh, script. To, if they'll ever, well, that's right. I think they said uh, Darkwing Duck like went off uh, has been like off the air for a while. I, I, I guess maybe about the same amount of time as in our real world. I'm not sure if they ever uh, gave an exact time or or anything. So, yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, but anyway. Um, oh, yeah, that little bit with the, the book, the Scarlet Pimper Bill. I don't really know about the real... I, I know there's a like book or a series or something, the Scarlet Pimper now, which obviously that's a pun off of. I, I don't know it. I haven't read any of it. I just I just recognize... I know the title. I've heard the title, but... So, so I mean, maybe that's... So the, that like the picture on that book, like maybe that's just how that character, pretty much how that character looks in real life, in the in the real life version of the book. But I mean, within this world, he he's clearly it, it's Darkwing. It, it clearly looks like Darkwing Duck, which you know Launchpad saw it as that you know he said you know I want to see your you know your Darkwing Duck book, which is you know, which is you know why he got to you know showing the episodes of the. Darkwing Duck in the first place, but uh, is that supposed to hint at something in this uh, in this world? Like, was this this hero inspired by Darkwing Duck, or maybe the other way around? Or yeah, I, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, anyway, 
Okay, I don't think I, uh... Yeah, I uh, don't really have anything else that I can think of. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, so that, that'll, yeah, that'll be it for now then. Uh, don't have anything else. Um, uh, so I'll, uh, see you next episode. Until then, uh, later. Bye.